Mercedes Monet posted a new video to her official YouTube channel on Wednesday. Features her doing some in-ring training, running the ropes, taking part in various drills. Description on YouTube reads, and this is quite descriptive, Mercedes Monet is back in the ring. So anyway, she'll be back soon. Rocky Romero talked to Wrestle Purist. Can't believe he cheated on us. I honestly don't have any update right now. He said, I hope I'll be talking to her agent, maybe her soonish. I honestly don't have any update yet about anything. The last thing I heard was she was recovering well. Basically, they were going to let me know, reach out when she was getting close to a comeback. I'm not really sure where we are at. Why don't you read that like you read uh, Punk's promo from Monday night? Put some fire into that. Put some, put some, some rock into that. Come on. Did you see the difference in the two promos for crying out loud? I honestly don't have any. I can't do that. Come on. So anyway, my guess is, like, obviously, AEW is going to make a big offer. I think that's abundantly clear. She was she was in the uh, crowd at, uh, was it was it uh, Wembley or was it all out? Wembley. Was it? Okay. I was there. I didn't see her. There were a lot of people in the building. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they'll obviously, I'm sure, make a big offer. Of course and, they will. And uh, don't think for one split second. WWE isn't going to make a giant offer. Hey, things have changed, you know. A couple years is a long time. Well, you know, I will say one thing about that punk promo. Well, he didn't say things have changed. He said I've changed. But things have changed in WWE, everybody. And uh, the guy that uh, was booking all the stuff that she really didn't like that caused her to walk out, he's gone. He's not booking anymore. So, uh... You think... You know, you know, you know when she was... You know when she was booked really well? When's that? When uh, she was in NXT and Triple H was in charge. <laughs> Can't well, help but yeah. uh, notice that. There's a lot of people that you could say that about during his time down there. What do you think the conversation was like between Paul and Phil about Stephanie not being there? And She and was there on this. Stuff? She was there at War Games. Was she? Yeah. Do you think they were there in her the kids, conversation? Her kids were actually in the front row for the women's War Games match. Oh, my God. I can yeah. imagine just Paul was Which Stephanie was a lot like... better than poor uh, Nick Jackson's kids in the front row for that uh, Hangman Swerve and uh, or Hangman Swerve match. They well, were. That, well, could have been worse. Could have been being in the front row, you know, for Mick Foley's matches, you know, as his kids once were. Well, yeah, Don't he wasn't in that match, fights, but folks. still. You know? God. Don't do that. I just really, I can imagine the conversation between... Those two with Stephanie being involved, considering she was such a big part of that, too. Everybody puts it on Vince. But remember, you know, Stephanie's impact and story and being part of that story when it came to CM Punk as well, too. Lucha Gato says Triple H would have to throw a <laughs> lot of money at Mercedes. They're both going to throw a lot of money at her. What do you, what do you, th- what do you is think this, this is? Point. Are you kidding yeah. me? Lucha Gato, how come I mentioned him twice today? <laughs> so everybody's getting money thrown at them, big money, because there's big money to be thrown right now. Yeah, you know who's going to be really rich in 2024? Is. Who's that? Drew. Drew McIntyre, brother. Sasha. Yeah. Who else is coming due? Anybody else coming due in 2024 is going to be rich. Yeah. I tell you what, I Drew. Give him all the million-dollar man and woman gimmick. AEW would love to have him. There are people there that work with Drew, you know, in WWE and then in his exploits out on the indies and stuff like that. But, man, is he in a good position now. And there are a lot of people in there, and I'm sure he's in that position because they want to keep him happy. But, man, he really is the access that everything is going off of on Raw right now. Yeti Pot Pie, I don't think I've mentioned him, says Okada. Well, listen. Like I said yesterday, come on. I'm not going to make a bet because I only make bets that I'm pretty sure I'm going to win, although I did just lose one. You're not exactly the gambler. Everybody's been paid, by the way, for those of you wondering. <laughs> but uh, I would be very surprised if Okada left New Japan Pro Wrestling. Very surprised. It would have to be. Do you hear me? Very surprised. Very, 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 very surprised. You would have to offer a lot that I don't know if you can necessarily get back out of them. Because if I'm Okada, it's like, okay, I want wherever Shinsuke is going to surf on the beach every day. I want the house next to his. You're going to take my whole family over here. All of the things that go with that. I mean, he's got kids and all that stuff. I It would have to be, he really would have to look at his situation in Japan, look at the landscape and go, yeah, I'm done here. 
<laughs> okay, I'm going to go to the, the States for three years and operate out of there. I, I don't, that's a lot to ask for. Oh, we were seeing a lot of me there for a second. I was distracted. <laughs> You're talking, the camera's on me. I don't even know where to look. Which one of these 85 screens should I look at? I don't know. I remember, when we, first, the camera. remember when we first started video and I looked at the camera and everyone was totally creeped out, so I stopped that. <laughs> Oh, is that why? <laughs> yeah, they didn't like me looking at him. I heard a lot of that. <laughs> Plus, I got a I got a look at you right there. Mm-hmm. We're not fancy enough to have one of those things. All right. What have What have we got in the uh, text message bin? Four two five seven eight zero seven five six six is the text message number. And also, I w- I should note that if you want to email me, f four w online at gmail dot com. That's F4W online, like the website, at gmail.com. Do not use Brian at WrestlingObserver.com. For those of you that a week ago were following along with my email woes, it is still downloading from now 2018. Oh, my God. Yes. It has not gotten to 2019 yet. And, uh, yes, I am well aware that Gmail has the option to only download. I tried. I switched all the settings it's still downloading mail from 2018. And as I, and like, it's, it's, uh, man, let me tell you something. They, they pop up on my phone, you know, here and there. And, uh, I have not gotten used to the fact that I'm getting emails from 2018. Because, for example, yesterday, I'm, uh, I look at my phone and an email pops up and it talks about how Vince McMahon returns to Raw tonight. <laughs> I went, what? <laughs> what? And I open it up, and it's from 2018 or whatever. Thank God. Are you just hitting, like, click and delete all constantly? Nah, I've already got uh, 91,482 unread. Oh, my God. So I may as well just let them keep coming in. But anyway, the the point is, don't email Brian at WrestlingObserver.com. No, ever. And some of these emails I'm getting, like, I don't remember. So I'm wondering if, like, I haven't gotten emails... Like, I've had people send to Brian at WrestlingObserver.com, and I've gotten them. But it feels like there's, like, a whole bunch of emails from the past seven years I just never even looked at or got. So, anyway, if you're listening to this and you've emailed me at some point over the last seven years and I ignored you, sorry. It wasn't my fault. Truly On the B&B during a slow time, life. maybe you want to pull some of these emails out just to see what they say. Let's see here. Oh, L.A. Knight's contract. Yeah, that guy's going to be rich. There's another one. Bert says, what should I eat? Well, you know, that'd be a different uh, different show for a different day. Well, it's subjective, too. I mean, what, with breakfast, lunch, dinner, I mean, you're, you're carnivore, you're vegetarian, vegan, what What do you like? Just eat food that's unprocessed. How about that? That's a good start. And, and get some colors on your plate, too, for heaven's Except sakes. when you really feel like crap, then just eat whatever. That's really well, my... if you're hungover, McDonald's is still a thing. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again 
after a while.